morning. It's Linda Cromar, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something a little bit different today. Maybe this will sound mundane and kind of boring, but you know what? It's important. What would happen if you lost all your files? A lot of people don't even think about it, even if you had a fire or anything. Now, I don't get paid for this, this program, Crash Plan, but it saved my butt a couple of times. Uh, I had a computer that uh, the hard drive completely went out and everything on it was gone. Now, I thought I lost all of my family pictures, but what happened is that I had forgotten that I had this system. Now, the reason why it's taking a long time to back up right now is because I had it just adopt over to this new laptop I'm on right now, which I have two screens going. I have a great big screen and a small screen, which that's a different lesson. <laughs> I just like to use a large screen. It's just something I started a long time ago when I was in uh, graphic design. But uh, anyway, because of this program, and I've tried a couple of others, uh, it saved my butt. It, it actually saved all of my files. So I want to show you a little something that I do that helps out. For one thing, uh, it doesn't show everything here. It shows Linda as missing. That's actually my old HP, which is upstairs. It's going to turn into basically a server to allow me to get onto my Amazon Prime videos. And it's going to allow me to get to YouTube if I want to. I had another little player thing that did that, but it wasn't very good. So that's what it's going to do. And the reason why is because that computer has gotten older and it's not as fast. And I needed something that did a better job faster. But I want to also tell you that I do not carry all of my files. This is relatively small. If you look at this one gigabyte of space of files that is actually backed up right now that are uh, basically the, the hard drive of the laptop and the G drive, which looks like it's got a lot of a lot of files on it, as you can see, is a is an exter external, but I also have it set up so that not only is it external holding on to major, amount of files, a lot of video and pictures and things like that, that you don't want to lose. Because I had a situation and I still haven't been able to recover it where I had a lot of personal video that I lost because I didn't pay attention very well. And when I had that other drive go out, I took it in and I was going to have somebody help me recover the files and they weren't able to. They were having a struggle doing it. And then it turned out that I saw this and I forgot that I had it. And I said, what is this little, it's only $13 and something that I was paying per month. And I said, what is this fee that I'm paying? What is this? And I found out it was my backup and it's backing up to the drive and it lets you completely recover everything back to your hard drive. Now, what I did in this case is I adopted the old hard drive, the old uh, desktop that's upstairs now into this one. So it's it's spending time syncing up and backing up. And it's going to take probably several days to do that. But that's all right, because in the meantime, it's also on my external. Now, the other thing I do is that I have these files in here that are basically the main files backup that is also going into that crash plan. And then what I do, if you look on here, is on this PC, as you can see, you would normally see these kind of folders on your computer. And I have them set up where I have a shortcut that actually corresponds with that larger drive for each of the major things that I do on a regular basis. So if I go to any one of these, there's a backup corresponding to it, except for downloads, which I move those most of the time. 
But as you see, here's a, a shortcut. It's going to the G drive. And the reason why I do that is because instead of saving it on the hard drive of this laptop, where it's more vulnerable because it can be portable, right? I, I save it down to this hard drive that's an external. And then it's being backed up by that crash plan. And then I do that with all of these. But when I'm out and about, obviously, I can't do that. So I would save it to the, the internal hard drive file until I get back home unless I'm using my phone or whatever. Uh, this is probably not the most sexy conversation that we can have, but think about it from a point, a different point of view. I'm just moving over to Facebook so it's a little bit nicer picture. But think about why you want to do that. A lot of people don't keep a real close eye on their files. Everything that I create that's in Facebook is also backed up on my hard drive. That's videos, pictures, anything that I think is of value and I don't want to lose. And I have done that on purpose because I've had situations, well, I've had a YouTube shut down more than once, and you don't know Facebook is cracking down on people that are posting things they don't like. They're making decisions about what you can and cannot share. And there might come a time, I don't know if it will, but there might come a time when Facebook says, you don't get to have your account anymore. Now, if I've never backed up anything, if I've never saved any of those pictures, especially family pictures, there's a lot of them in there. Those get lost for good. And that's not cool. So it's important, actually, and I know a lot of people function only on their cell phone. And I believe it has a cell phone component inside. But if it doesn't, find one that does. If you have an iPhone, you're automatically set up with a cloud program. But it's limited on how much space it can hold. So make sure that you have, I mean, it's worth it to spend some money on a backup program. What I like about CrashPlan is that it lets me do an indefinite amount of space. It does not limit or charge me more based on how much space I use. And I actually use quite a lot because I have a lot of video. So that's my lesson for today. With all of the wonderful things we can do online these days, make sure that you're backed up. Make sure that you have a plan where you have things working properly for yourself so that you don't lose valuable files, especially pictures and video. If you've done a lot of business video, you don't want to lose that stuff. And as you've seen, I have been using, uh, uploading a lot of my older video. The reason why is because that's a way to archive as well. But I'm not counting on Facebook to be my archive space. Yes, it's free but it's not safe. So take the time. If you don't want to use this one, uh, they also call themselves code 42. I think it is, but just look it up as crash plan on your internet. I, I think it's 1399 a month or something. And it's really unlimited space, which is really nice. Uh, I must've clicked something I wasn't supposed to. Uh -huh. I don't want to do that. Oh, well. Anyway, that's my suggestion for today that you make sure and see where you're at. Do you have a backup plan? And I know a lot of people use Dropbox, but I think it's pretty limited on what it can do. So do you have a backup plan? What would happen if you had a fire? and you lost your computers. I don't worry about trying to run in and capture my computers when it's smoky and it's scary and it's the, obviously you've got to get you and your family out immediately or and pets if you have any. But make sure that you're taking care of what matters. If you've got a full backup done, 
and in a couple of days that's going to be caught up again, then I won't have to worry. All I have to do is access that file, that company, and I have to just replace my computer and put new files from the backup files onto a new computer. And I've done it more than once, and I know it's possible to do it. So I recommend that you think about that and take care of what matters, especially things like pictures and videos. That's what my lesson is for you today. Back up your stuff. Don't just count on a cell phone or a laptop to be your backup service because you know something can happen. Hard drives quit, buy, fail, fires, and floods can ruin what you have, so you have to start from scratch. If it's backed up to a web and a service that is secure and private, you do not have to lose your stuff. I hope that helps. Let me know what you think. I'll be talking with you again soon.